I've got a quick prophetic words to share um, mainly with um, people, um, groups of people and maybe specific words as well but please take the word of the Lord um, um, in the one that relates to you take it and um, rejoice with it and uh, give God praise and thanks with his word because he is doing something um, we have changed um, from a, a different way to a new it's a new time now and we're in a time where God is redeeming the time that's the word of the Lord that he has given me to um, share speaking on the rooftops I might even sing a song on it the Lord Jesus Christ is your time redeemer he's redeeming the time um, the, the scripture the Lord gave me also Psalm 107 um, Psalm 107 please spend time on that scripture and see what God does when people turn to him and he he, he hears them and delivers them I've done a video on that in my previous redeeming of time video um, but today um, I have this uh, scripture Luke 10 verse 18 and Luke 10 verse 21 and a little bit more in between where it says uh, the, Jesus said I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven and then in verse 21 he says it, the scripture says in that hour Jesus rejoiced in the spirit and said you know so I'm just going to give some prophetic words because I'm going to aim to make this video six minutes max, maximum six minutes. So I just want to go into prophetic words and then I do want to read this scripture. So let's see how I get on. Okay, so I have a word for um, um, marriages. The Lord is restoring time that's been lost in marriages. Um, I see situation, uh, marriage, situa marriage situation where um, you... Oh, I actually see a couple, but you guys lost time with your children. You were too busy doing other things. I actually see a, a couple that was also too busy doing ministry. And, um, and you're so repentant of those times. But you knew you were doing something for the Lord, but didn't know how to balance it. And the Lord says he's restoring that time. He is restoring that time. Watch what he does um, from now forth. Just watch what he's doing on that. And that I, I also saw the other couple as well who um, were just busy and they missed out times with their children. And it seems like those times are lost because the kids are growing. And the Lord says, I'm restoring that. He's going to do something. He's, he's going to restore, restore that. I see him restoring things and I, I hear you thinking that oh yes he's gonna restore it through the grandchildren because that's what you're trying to do oh my god my heart goes funny my, my belly feels funny you you feel that the Lord's gonna restore it you've heard this word you've heard this word someone's listening to this and you've heard this word and the way you've understood it is that the Lord is gonna use the grandchildren to bring that restoration of the time that you lost with your kids. The Lord says, yeah, of course you're, you're going to have fun times with the grandchildren, but that's not what he means. He's literally going to restore the time that you lost with your children. He's going to do it. And when he's doing it, he's going to start doing that. You will see at the moment, every little moment, you will literally see, wow, God is restoring those times. When my kids were little now the Lord is restoring it it's gonna happen amen and then I also see um, relationships as well I do I've never given a, a wedding word before but I do hear um, wedding bells and um, I do see relationship with uh, engagement um, something that um, uh, it's like it got lost or misunderstood or put on hold or something and um, it's not very clear but what I am getting is that the Lord is restoring 
relationships. The Lord is restoring past relationships. Past relationships that were put on hold. Relationships that... Um, he's restoring relationships. The Lord says he's restoring relationships. Trust him in that. He says, hold on. He's bringing back to pass. He's bringing another opportune time for you to put it right this time. He's bringing back. Um, he's bringing, he's setting the time again. And you're going to have a, an opportunity to put it right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel that. I feel that for you. That is the word of the Lord. I feel it. <sighs> He's bringing back that time for you to put it right. And you've grown, you've matured, you've seen where it went wrong. Oh my goodness, I feel it for you. You've seen where it went wrong and it's coming back and you're going to put it right. Hallelujah. Relationships. I get the word engagement. Marriages. Hallelujah. The Lord is doing something. Woohoo! Did you see for this video, I decided to put a watch for this video because I want to make it fun and quick. Let's see how long I've been. Oh, seven minutes. Oh, I better finish. Okay, so um, so be blessed. Um, see if I've got another word for someone. Oh God, those in destitute. Oh yes, earlier I heard bereavement as well. Those in destitute, in feel like you're in a dry place and also I was getting when I was putting this watch on I was getting the word that the Lord has a word for people who've gone through bereavement you've lost somebody and you're wondering how is God gonna bring back that time and you know what the Lord is gonna do something with time he's gonna restore to you what the enemy thought he stole what the enemy stole the enemy caught life short, but the Lord is going to restore it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's going to make it like better than it was before. Yes, someone passed away. But, you know, when my dad, when I lost someone close to me, my father, I remember the Lord saying to me that um, he will restore it. And I always wondered, how are you going to restore it? So I actually thought the Lord was going to raise raise him up from the dead and I was praying that the Lord will resurrect him and he didn't resurrect him but I understand now the power and the might of God death is defeated and the Lord is able to restore the time that was taken away from you because of a loved one that was lost and the Lord says I should proclaim this word I should decree this word the Lord is about to restore the time that was taken away because a loved one was taken away. The Lord is going to restore that time and give it back to you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, Amen. And the brokenhearted and the destitute, the Lord says, I am your time redeemer and I am restoring the time. I'm going to heal your heart and I'm going to restore. He didn't forget. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, Amen. So before I end the video, I just want to, um, to let you know why I was referencing Luke 10, verse 18, and Luke 10, verse, verse 21. And if you have a moment, I suggest that you read from Luke 10, verse 17 to verse um 24 okay but i was referencing that because the lord gave me that reference um because it's it's um it it records him being joyful you know and also his disciples returning with joy and then he said oh yeah but don't rejoice about this rejoice about that and then in the next uh, verse uh, somewhere in, in verse 21 it then goes on to say that um, in that hour, Jesus rejoiced in the spirit, you know. 
and um, because if you remember in the beginning of the the word of this video I said to you that take the word with joy you know and I, I said to you how I made the video with a, a, a watch I had to find a watch put on a watch uh, you know make the thumb, thumbnail fun and joy you know receive it with joy and thanksgiving because the Lord is your time redeemer and he's redeeming time okay thank you so much please give the video a thumbs up and please um, subscribe to my channel um, but more importantly above all of this give the Lord thanks thank the Lord and draw closer to him okay all right bye